Uh, I think we came out with purpose. Uh, obviously, you know, disappointed loss last game. Um, it's all about how you respond. And, uh, you know, this was, we played like, you know, how we know we're supposed to play tonight. And, uh, I mean, a lot had to do with um, us responding from a loss and uh, having our full team, you know, obviously besides uh, Peyton. But, you know, having a, you know, Rob back, you know, makes the world a difference. Also was able to. Tonight? Uh, yeah, I mean, you want to close out the, the trip strong. You know, we feel like we dropped two that we shouldn't have. Um, but, you know, all we could do was worry about tonight. Um, and closing out strong, uh, you know, last game of the trip, you know, that is uh, very important. What stood out to you in that turnover differential to Donald Force 14 Yeah, I talked about it earlier. Um, controlling the things that we can control, rebounding, um, turning the ball over. Right, you know, the more possessions that we have, the more shots that we take, you know, uh, the better chances we have of winning the game. We're also able to uh, slow down the offense. Uh, Fox only scored 18, which is good for any other player, though. But is that the discussion coming in here, you know, try to move, slow down that pace of the, uh, of the Kings? Uh, yeah, you know, get back in transition, load up. Uh, we obviously know Fox probably the fastest player in the league uh, with the basketball, and, you know, they play with, you know, such great pace. So just being connected on defense and uh, trying to show a crowd uh, was a point of emphasis tonight. How did you maintain? They scored 24 points in the first six minutes. And then how did you kind of hold the top, hold, stem the tide and then start to get stops as opposed to kind of letting go of the road? Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah, they came out swinging early. Uh, some of them were some tough shots, but I think, you know, we just stayed the course of, uh, you know, picking up the pressure on defense getting into guys a little bit more. Because uh, like you said, it was just trading buckets early, and uh, we knew we had to really get some stops in that second quarter. How important was that sec end of the second quarter spurt for you, seven points in the last 216? How critical was that to give you guys a halftime lead and some momentum? Uh, I mean, that was big, right? Closing out quarters is um, you know very important in this league, um, especially going into halftime. Um, and, you know, we, we track those things, you know, end of quarter, um, you know, points and, you know, how we uh, size up against other teams in those moments. Jason, you mentioned talking about coming down the crowd. Can you just talk about giving your assessment on just the atmosphere of tonight's game? Uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, they've always had a great crowd. And obviously this year they, they playing extremely well. Uh, and, uh, you know, their fans show up. Uh, but we did have a... A big Celtics fan base here, so I'll point that out as well. Uh, you know, obviously we're a lot bigger when he's out there, and we just uh, shows it just makes us much more dynamic. I feel like um, his presence, you know, you know, even if he's not blocking shots, maybe he's deterring people away from attacking the basket. You know, he's grabbing rebounds. Um, giving us second and third chance opportunities. Um, obviously, a, a live threat. So, um, it was just great to have you know the whole team out there. Obviously, we didn't have P, but um, you know having that starters and um, having Rob back, you know, makes us uh, we just a different team. Hey, Jason, um, you guys got the win, but do you feel a difference in this Sacramento Kings team versus ones that you've seen in the past? Uh, yeah, I mean they they're a lot better. Uh, than they have been in recent years, and give a lot of credit to Mike Brown. Uh, you know, those got the guys playing a lot better. Uh, you know, Fox is, like I said, he's playing at all NBA level, and Sabonis has uh, been great for them. And uh, you know, they just play with so much pace, and uh, I feel like they all those guys got a lot more confidence. Um, and you know, when you're playing with confidence and freedom, you know, naturally, you know. Um, open open things up um, for you as an individual and as a group, and um, they've been on the road. Jason, uh, I know you guys want to shut Grant out, but when Tennessee's beats Duke, you're probably not going to shut him up. So, what's the last few days been like being around Grant? Uh, it's been tough. Uh, you know, obviously tough for, for for my guys down there at Durham, losing the second round. Uh, you know, felt bad for them. But you know, losing to Grant, you know, he already he already talked enough. So you know, throwing gas to the fire didn't help, and uh, just some some more.
that I got to deal with with him.